Good morning, Cohort C. All right, it's that time. The time to finish the zombie apocalypse quest. Okay, so first, if you're not done with any of the assignments, just check your attendance form, uh, because on there it lists the assignments that you need to get done. So if you don't know if you've unlocked any of them, check this list right here. Then when you go to your quest, Zombie Apocalypse, you can see if you have them all. And the last two, Disease Detectives and Disease Report, you can still work on it till Friday. Uh, you just won't get any food and water, but you will still get XP and gold, so it's worth finishing. But today, I want to focus on the supply list for the Happy Zombie Apocalypse Day. So you might remember this assignment when it first came out. It had a supply list with everyone in the sixth grade and how much water and food. I had to switch water and food because people were getting way too much food, not enough water. And we know we can survive a lot longer without food than we can without water. So I wanted to make sure we had more food than water. So here's what you have. Then you open this one, the Hazad items. This can show you what you can buy with your food and water. And one food is equal to one water. So you can buy something like a backpack. You can do eight food, eight water, 16 water, 16 food. You can pay for it any way you want. But here's how you do it. So you open up your, oops, not that. Let's go to the assignment and right here. And if you need to open it up in Google Classroom, do that. Okay, so you've got your assignment here. And if you can't type on it, remember to open it in Google Classroom and unsubmit. If you want to type on Google Classroom assignments, unsubmit them, refresh, and you can type. So you go over here and you see how much you have. Let's say you have um, 13 food, 7 water. I go to my document, and I update my food. Uh, and it was 13 water, 7 food. Sorry, got that backward. See, that makes more sense, to have plenty more water than food. So, um... Down here is where you tell me what you're going to buy. So let's say I've got 20 all together. I look at what I can afford. So with 20, I can afford a backpack, but then I won't have much uh, food and water left to buy any of the other things. Maybe I can buy a first aid kit and still have enough space to get stuff. I can only carry two items unless I have a backpack. So if you don't have that much food and water, buy something that will help you, like if you can afford a chainsaw or a Bieber bomb, and then carry that and maybe a first aid kit, and you're doing pretty well because you have until Wednesday to do this. I know Wednesday's Veterans Day, but it's the best day for me to roll dice for everyone and I'm rolling five six-sided dice so this will really help what I'll do is I'll go to your card all right your scorecard and I'll see how much food and water you have and then you tell me what you bought so if you bought a chainsaw you put a one there by the way you can only buy one of each you can't have two of any item sorry so you buy one chainsaw, if you bought a backpack, you just put one there, and then you subtract down here, tell me what you're buying. So you can write something like, bought one chainsaw for 14 food and water. And if you have 13, you can say for 13 water, plus one food equals 14. All right, that means you've got six food left. So what did you get with that six food? Clearly, I'm not gonna get a backpack. 
with six food I'm gonna buy an advanced first aid kit so advanced first aid kit is down here I'll buy one of those advanced first aid equals four food so I spent 13 14 15 16 17 18 18 out of 20 I'm left with two food but I can only carry two things so guess what I'm leaving those two rations of food those two MREs and I'm taking with me my chainsaw and my advanced first aid kit Doo -doo -doo -doo. so when I roll the dice whatever I roll I'm gonna give you a plus two for advanced first aid but you have the chainsaw so I'm gonna take your three lowest and I'm going to re-roll them. And if you get higher, that'll be your final score. And then I'll check off here whether you died a messy death, whether you were a zombie survivor, or whether you were a zombie hero. Uh, and I'll let you know your initial score and your final score with your items to see where you ended up. All right, that's how we finish the game. So if you have any questions, message me because you have to win. That's right, Wednesday. Glad you were listening. Uh, and if you don't spend any of your food and water by Wednesday, I'm assuming you're just going to take a ration of water, a ration of food, which is a water bottle, one MRE, and then your initial score will be your final score. Whatever I roll, that's what you get. So those of you who aren't watching this, you're not going to get any advantages, even if you earn tons of food and water. So this is an important one to watch and one not to miss. All right, good luck and happy, happy zombie apocalypse.